Welcome to the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. Uh, my name is Princess and I'm happy to see you. If you are new here, you're very welcome to the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles channel. Uh, we are a Christian faith-based relationship channel. We talk about um, courtship, relationship, finding the right partner, praying to know how to find the right partner and who you should get married to. Uh, we talk about how to court, how to know that you're with the right person, how to um, discuss everything that needs to be talked about and addressed before you go on to marriage. And we also uh, warn you about things that you need to look out for in your relationship journey. We are on Facebook as Deep Alive Bible Church Singles. We are on Instagram as well as DLBC. Singles do well to follow us on Instagram and the description will be in the um, description section. So the full uh, social media handle, I mean, will be in the description section. And follow us on, on our Facebook. We have a page. Do well to follow us so that you can be alerted whenever we have our monthly prayers and our discussions. Without wasting too much time, we're going to say, um, don't forget to subscribe and we'll go right into the topic of discussion today. <clears throat> and today we're talking about um, meeting somebody on the internet meeting someone online on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat, um, anywhere at all, on Twitter, anywhere that that you can meet. Maybe you meet on a, you met on a page, friends of friends, and you like that person, you, you like what you see. Should you get married to somebody that you just met on the internet? That's what we're talking about today. Very important topic. We've had so many questions about this. Many people are wondering if it's a good idea. Can I marry somebody that I just met over the internet? Today's world is a digital world where in the social media time, especially with COVID, um, the, the, the internet and the social media and everything digital just blew up. Everybody began to trust in... Um, um, doing business on the internet, shopping on the internet, having meetings on the internet, uh, having business connections, and a lot of things that are happening on the internet. We trust more. The digital world became more um, known or more, most used. And so also, relationship has... There's always been people meeting each other on the internet and having some lovely marriages, at least so we see. We see them uh, as... Uh, it looks like they're enjoying their, their homes and their marriages, but uh, we do not say that there are no problems sometimes. There are definitely good ones, and there are also some who have fallen into a wrong, wrong relationship because they met those people on the internet. And we want to, uh, as much as we are not s saying that good things don't happen, we um, want to just throw a bit of caution to all of you guys. You know, you are a family, right? We are family here in this space. We are family members. We are friends. We love you and we want you to get it right in the area of marriage. That's really the reason why we started this whole um, channel and the Facebook group and the page and the Instagram handle. Um, but... We just like you to know that I like to say that clearly there is scamming, there are scammers on the internet. I'm going to tell you a story of how I met somebody on the internet many years ago, okay, when Facebook was just starting. And before I go there, I'll just tell you what you should look out for. I just want you to know that on the internet, there are scammers and they may try to trick you, uh, you know, out of your money they want to 
take your money from you and they will scam you for start becoming by becoming your friends they will develop a relationship with you and you guys will get talking and later they will begin to bring up their stories of this happened to me that happened to me and there's this business i want you to book into and of course you've come to trust them and they can play you and play you really good that's why you need to be watchful okay because of the scamming apart from uh, scamming we have blackmailers the people who blackmail others on the internet they make you to trust them and they make you to start sending to them pictures that they would use against you in the future because they'll ask you for some things and when you say you cannot provide them they'll use those pictures as a blackmail to tell you that okay now if you think that you're not going to do this for me then uh, there you go I'm going to show this to the world I'm going to say it to your friends I'm going to say it to your um, your contacts and because of shame you are now in a web and you keep doing things against your will because you are trapped that's why you need to be careful of this you need to never ever send a picture that you would not want to be seen in the public don't send it to anybody do not go on video video message video calls whatever videos whatever pictures that you cannot allow in the public don't ever be cursed to send it to anybody that's a piece of advice you need to keep keep it that's something that you should never ever even when you're in courtship don't ever send a picture that you'll be ashamed if seen in the public save yourself the pain by being discreet about exposing yourself we are christians and we shouldn't be even found doing those kind of things so to avoid being blackmailed by anybody don't send any picture that they might try to use to get things from you explicit things anything that they don't ever send anything that will trap you okay there are also people that we call um catfishers some people are catfishers what, what's a catfisher is catfisher is someone who who pretends to be other people they they, they use fo fake photos they use um, fake images and their profile is all fake they, you know they are just there to catch people and they pretend to be other people that they are not you need to be careful who you're talking to on the internet because you don't see those people you do not know them they're just behind the screen you're just looking at the pictures and you are depending on what you see and what you see might not always be the true picture of who that person is you might have been talking to a woman all the while thinking that you're talking to a man you might be talking to another um, I mean, I don't know what I'll call them, someone who who is not even interested in a relationship. You don't know who you're talking to behind behind that profile. You don't know who is there. You need to be very careful with catfishers. And also there are people who are outright thieves. They are there to steal your identity. In this part of the world, we have social insurance number. And in the United States, I think they call it um, social, I think it's social insurance number two, the scene. Um, yes, they have the, they have the social insurance number. So it's just like the, an identification that the government uses to identify you. And you want to be careful not to get your identity stolen. For people not to steal your identity, you don't want them to have information of you that they would use to represent or mistress represent you like use your identity to steal from people that know you uh, use your, your identity to steal from banks use your identity to, to commit some fraud you don't want that to happen you don't want to start fighting with trying to reclaim your identity trust me it's a very long fight and sometimes it messes with people's credit history and they're not able to purchase a house when they want to get a house because their identity has been stolen by people they don't know and they don't even know how it happened so you should you must not be careful on the internet you must not be careless sorry on the internet you must be very intentional when you are on the internet and who you're talking to you need to be sure before you start dishing out information about you 
Let's talk about liars. There are liars on the internet. Whether you like it or not, people can call themselves Christians. They can quote verses of the scriptures. They can speak spiritual. They can talk uh, brotherly, sisterly, churchy, whatever it is. But there is a lot of lying going on around. How do you know people can pretend to be someone else? You cannot quite and trust everyone or everything that someone's profile says about them. Everything that people post about them may not always be the truth. People can take pictures in places or do photoshops or, you know, people can just create anything in this age of photoshopping, in this age of um, digital, um, what do you call it now, um, designs and there are so people, some people who are real professionals and they can make pictures that look like it's really um, true, very, very real looking pictures. That's why you, you, you want to be watchful and careful so that you don't get into um, a liar's net. And they're not telling you lies about the country, their country of residence. They're not telling you lies about um where they work they're not telling you lies about um their financial situation um and don't ever fall into those traps because they'll tell you something very nice something you want to hear and at the end of the day they use it and turn around to ask you for your address they start to ask you for um where you work they start to ask you for some things that they can connect together they ask you at different intervals information today about your address and another time they say what bank do you bank with and they ask you questions about what job and some of those information they gather together to know um, some of the security that you might have put in your bank. They know your bank, they know some information about maybe your account number, they have some information and carelessly you start giving out information that Scammers, thieves, liars can book together and get into your bank account, banking information, and maybe sometimes misrepresent you, get money from your loved ones, and before you find out, you are, you have been used as an instrument for these liars to get away with their lies. So, uh, do not ever give information to someone you do not know. Don't in the because he talks so sweet so nice so lovely and you're so desperate to be in a relationship you like this picture that he's showing you you like the face you like uh, the tone of his voice don't forget that people can also use uh, apps to modify their voice and sound like someone else you need to be very careful and very watchful guys this is both for ladies and men and this video is for both men and women i want you to be very careful watchful and smart about the kind of information that you give out to people over the internet people you have never met, met before be careful and there are also sexual predators people who are there to catch women you know he starts chatting with you and says okay ah coincidentally i live in a city the same city with you sometimes they might actually be in the same city with you and they tell you that they are in the same city with you and you guys can hook up be careful because you might be falling into a wrong trap you might be falling into the hands of a sexual predator someone who is a rapist a serial rapist or a one-time rapist or two-time rapist someone who has a bad intention you want to be careful with how you meet up how you go for coffees and where you are going for coffees don't ever go out without telling your roommates without telling people that you know where you are going to as much as it's good to meet people, you want to know this person, do not go alone. Do not go to secluded places. Do not go to places that, um, you know, are very uh, dangerous because the area is dangerous the corner he says go behind this house you just see a, a car a van you know uh, a truck and that's where i'm going to be be careful tell them to come to a 
to um, a public place, a place where people are moving, a public street. Uh, if you want to meet somebody, please invite them to somewhere public, a store, a mall. Do not meet people in discreet places. So many people have lost their life and have gone missing because they accepted to go on appointment, on meetups, on hookups with people that they do not know. Especially young people who are not living like you are a student in a country, in a foreign country. Be careful with who you are meeting up with. Be careful with whose house you are going to he says he lives in a house and that the house will be quiet it's better for you guys to meet there he wants to cook for you be careful you don't know this person do not i repeat do not visit people that you do not know okay wisdom is profitable to direct okay be wise be wise now how do you check people Maybe this relationship has been going smoothly and you think that you want to marry this person. You need to do a background check. How do you do a background check? How do you check that this person is somewhat what you think they are or what they profess to be? First, I'll say make video calls. Tell them that you want to have a video call with them. You want to see them on video. That way you'll be able to assess their background, you, the background of where they're talking to you, at least. I mean, on a live video, there's a limit to how much you can fake. For now, still, I don't know how techie people have gone, but there's a limit to how much they can fake. Do a video call. If they say no, they do not want to do a video call and they're giving you excuses non-stop, that's a red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Watch out. Be careful. Number two. Um, watch out that there is no mismatch between the picture, the story that they are telling you and everything that they've said before, they are changing their story all the time. Watch out for those things. You can also, number, number three, send people to go and check that person out. You have a friend, a, a buddy who lives in that corner and you say, hey, you know what? Uh, I have a friend that's going to come and give you this or I have a friend that will come and meet you up on so-so-so date. Let somebody cross-check. If they say they work in so-and-so place, send a friend sometimes to go to that bank, to go to that place of work and ask around about this person. Do you know this person? I'd like to see this person. I, you know, just have somebody that will help you to watch your back, that will help you to confirm that this story that you have been told is correct. Watch out for those people that when you have asked them for these things and they know that you are almost catching up with them and that you are catching up with their lies, what do they do? They start to ghost you. Once this person is starting to ghost you, you suddenly, you suddenly cannot reach out to them. You cannot um, get a hold of them. You, they just, they're just nowhere. Their profile has been deleted or you've been restricted and then you, you just can't find them and sometimes they will pop back in and say oh yeah they give you the story give you that story but from time to time they are always ghosting you when you want to fact check that is the right time to withdraw and run for your sake save yourself the heartbreak save yourself the disaster save yourself the waste of time by cutting every relationship with this person block them stop them from being able to see you to talk to you block them and stop the communication with them so that if you started to have feelings for them those feelings can be can be dealt with when there is no more communication with time it will start fading and if you need to get some help please get some help if you are dealing with some emotional whatever it is and you cannot get yourself back get some help okay do some therapy clear yourself clean your system of that whole relationship that you've built i hope that you're blessed by this video i hope that you'll come for more videos don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, like share these videos with your friends and please do well to come again for another videos we like to see your comments in the comment section below please do well to comment let us know what you think about meetup online relationship online love 
online finding love online is it a good idea have you tried it before oh my story <laughs> i'm going to tell you the story in the next video okay i'll go part two this one is getting too long in part two i'm going to tell you how i met somebody on the internet so watch out for part two hey bye